This video explores about informal education. My name is Dr. Kibet. Welcome to my video presentation. What is informal education? Informal education may be a parent teaching a child how to prepare a meal or a ride or how to ride a bicycle. People can also get an information, informal education by reading many books from a library or educational websites. Informal education is when you are studying in a school and do not use any particular learning method. In this type of education, conscious effort are involved. It is neither pre-planned nor deliberate. It may be learned at some marketplace, no tell, or at home. Unlike formal education, informal education is not imparted by an institution such as school or college. Informal education is not given according to any fixed timetable. There is no set curriculum required. Informal education consists of experiences and actual living in the family or community. So in this video, I will explore the characteristics, the advantages and disadvantages and the examples of informal education. So first, let me begin by looking at the characteristics of informal education. Point number one, it is independent of boundary walls. It has no definite syllabus. It is not pre-planned and has no timetable. It has no fees as we get informal education through daily experiences and by learning new things. Number five, it is a lifelong process in a natural way. Six, the certificates degrees are not involved and one has no stress for learning the new things. Seven, you can get from any source such as media, live experiences, friends, family, etc. So in the following section, I want us to look at the advantages of informal education. Point number one, more natural learning process as you can learn at anywhere, at any time from your daily experience. Advantage number two, it involves activities like individual and personal research on a topic of interest for themselves by utilizing books, libraries, social media, internet, or getting assistance from informal trainers. Finding number three, it utilizes a variety of techniques. Four, no specific time span. Five, less costly and time efficient learning process. Advantage number six, no need to hire experts as most of the professionals may be willing to share their precious knowledge with a student or public through social media and the content and the internet. Advantage number seven, learners can be picked up the requisite information from books, TV, radio, or conversations with their friends or family members. Disadvantages. What are the disadvantages of informal education? Number one, informal information acquired from the internet, social media, TV, radio, or conversation with friends, family members may lead to the disinformation. Number two, utilized techniques may not be appropriate. Three, no proper sh uh, schedule or time span. Four, unpredictable results which simply the wasting wastage of time. Five, lack of confidence in the learner. And finally, number six, absence of discipline, attitudes, and good habits. And lastly, let's look at the examples of informal education. One, teaching the child some basics such as numeric characters. Number two, someone learning is or a mother tongue. And lastly, a spontaneous type of learning. That is, if a person 
standing in a bank learns about opening and maintaining the accounts at the bank from someone. So this presentation basically summarizes what we call informal education. Thank you.